a lot of Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. In this session we're gonna get right into the Thieves Guild, which requires me to go speak with Maven Blackbriar, the wealthiest and most influential person in Riften, because apparently she's got some kind of task for me. Looks like she stopped off at the inn. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. Upstairs or downstairs, I think. Or not. I don't have any business with you, so get out of my face. So you're the one. Hmm. You don't look so impressive. I'm the best at what I do. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. You have no faith in the guild? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. One more time. Alright, well, let's go pay Machius a visit. For this job and you will be sorry. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Can't a man drink in peace? Well, Maven did say you were expecting me. I'm gonna keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard, and we're going to poison the mead. Do you have the poison? No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You this know what I mean? How do I fit into this plan? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Okay. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone else to do the dirty work. How do I get into the brewing vats? Both of the buildings are connected by tunnels made by the pests infesting the meadery. There's an entrance to it in the basement storeroom of the warehouse that used to be boarded over. I've already removed the boards so the meadery would get infested. That's where you should start. What about just going in through the brewery? Sabjorn keeps that locked up tight. If you can get through that way, go right ahead. Okay, well that's enough information for me. You want a drink? Uh, no thanks. Now please, no more questions. Good. So where's the meadery located? And right outside White Run, the Hunting Brew Meadery. What are you gawking at? Can't you see I have problems here? Is something wrong? Are you kidding me? Obviously. Look at this place. 
I'm supposed to be holding a tasting of the new hunting brew reserve for the captain of the guard. If he sees the meadery in this state, I'll be ruined. I might be able to help. Oh, really? And I don't suppose you'd just do it out of the kindness of your heart, would you? I hope you're not expecting to get paid until the job's done. That's the only way I operate. Well, that's not how I operate, so forget it. Then just pay me when the job's done. My only demand is that these vermin are permanently eliminated before my reputation is completely destroyed. How do I permanently clear the vermin? I bought some poison. I was going to have my lazy good-for-nothing assistant, Malice, handle it. But he seems to have vanished. If you plant this in the vermin's nest, it should stop them from ever coming back. You've got a deal. Don't come back until every one of those things are dead. You mentioned someone named Malice? Malice is the best deal I've ever made. Lent him a bit of gold some time ago I knew he'd never be able to pay back. Nothing like free labor to make operating costs cheaper. Now I've got to clean up this mess. And the entrance to the tunnel is around here somewhere. Okay, so that's where I need the key. I have to start in here first. I don't think I've ever seen Venom Fang skeevers before. Sounds like spiders. They're pretty observant. That one's pretty strong. be able to loot that one. I don't want to miss any of these because I want that venom. I think that's it. doing very good with traps.
Oh, there's a guy down here. He did a lot of damage. So I'm gonna need some minor healing. Take that level up. Yes, it is. So what do you have? A little bit of gold. Journal. Ring of lock picking. I'll equip that. Actually. Huh. Guess I'll go with the sneaking one for now. And then if I need to lock pick, I'll just switch it. Unless it's a novice chest like this. And I think that's it for this area. Now we'll use that ring. Drop some poison in there. Oh. He's right there. Was something we discussed unclear? No, the job's finished. Well, it's about time. I had to stall the captain until you were finished. And what about my pay? You'll just have to wait until after the captain's finished. I suppose you can wait around if you must. I'll just take well, a seat to watch this unravel. You're taking care of your little pest problem. How about I get a taste of some of your mead? Help yourself, my lord. It's my finest brew yet. I call it Hunting Brew Reserve. I think you'll find it quite pleasing to your palate. Oh, come now. This is mead. Not some wine to be sipped and savored. By the eight. What... what's in this? I... I don't know. What's wrong? You assured me this place was clean. I'll see... see to it that you remain in irons for the rest of your days. No, please. I don't understand. Silence, idiot. I should have known better to trust this place after it's been riddled with filth. I beg you, please. This is not what it seems. You. You're in charge here until I can sort this all out. It will be my pleasure. And you. You're coming with me to Dragon's Reach. We'll see how quickly your memory clears in the city's prisons. Now, move. Look. I assure you, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I said, move! Farewell, Sabjorn. Be careful! I don't think that could have gone any better. Anything else you need before you head back to Riften? I need to get a look at Sabjorn's books. So, Maven wants to hunt down Sabjorn's private partner, huh? You're welcome to take a look around Sabjorn's office. He keeps most of his papers stashed in his desk. Here, this should help. 
What are you going to do with this place? Start changing it over to the Blackbriar Meadery West as soon as possible. That was Maven's part of the deal. She's put me in charge of keeping the mead flowing, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. If you're in the area, and you ever need anything fenced, you just let me know. Remember to put in a good word with Maven for me. So I need to go check his office. Don't know what I just stole there. That bucket, I think. Not sure what that decanter is for, but it looks like I can give it to Delvin for something. Now it's time to get back to Maven to report the information that I got. I trust you have good news for me? Yep, the job's finished. Here's the information you requested. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Uh, apparently I've seen that symbol before. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Out of my way. I should probably start reading the information I find because they keep talking about some symbol and I really don't know what they're talking about. But apparently I can go back to Delvin for something with the decanter. I don't know what that was about, but let's go see what sure, he wants sure. with it. I'm a dirty beggar. Why would you want to even speak? A lot of people guy. are beginning to get impressed with you here. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself you know. in White Run's prison. How unfortunate for him. Yet very fortunate for Maven. Exactly. Now you're beginning to see how our little system works. Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Something important to the guild? The same symbol from Golden Glow was involved? Then this is beyond coincidence. First Arangoth. And now Sabjorn. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Is there anything we can do? Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. He wants to meet with you right away. And if I were you, I'd hurry. 
I've never seen him this angry before. If you ever need more practice, Alright, so I'll go to Mercer and then Delvin. Ah, there you are. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. I found the same marking at Hunting Brew Meadery. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Clever or not, they need to die. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. They're well funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification for years. However, don't mistake my admiration for complacency. Our nemesis is going to pay dearly. How can we make them pay? Because even after all their posturing and planning, they've made a mistake. The parchment you recovered mentions a Gajal lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of our contacts. His real name is Gullamai. Where do I begin? Gullamai is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, see what you come up with. Talk to Brynjolf before you leave if you have any questions. Just wondering what that was. Okay, so what's Brynjolf got? I can't believe Gullum Eyes mixed up in all this. That Argonian couldn't find his tail with both hands. Don't get me wrong. He could scam a beggar out of his last septum, but he's no mastermind. Think he'll give me trouble? Trouble? <laughs> he's one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. So how do I get him to talk? You're going to have to buy him off. It's the only way to get his attention. If that fails, follow him and see what he's up to. If I know Gullamai, he's in way over his head, and you'll be able to use it as leverage. If he's betrayed us, I'll kill him. No, no. Mercer wants him alive. For now. Stubborn or not, he's the only contact we've got at the East Empire Company. Just keep on his tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. Good luck in solitude. Okay, so Delvin is probably at the flagon. What could I do for you today? Uh, are you interested in buying this hunting brew decanter? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. I think you'll find this payment to be more than fair. 200 gold. Alright, well Remember, I want to go check with the Dark Brotherhood now and see if they've got any... Minor contracts that I can take. I don't know why that always closes as soon as I step out. There was this main one where I had to spy on Cicero. Yes. Yeah, I think good luck. Nazir was the guy who gave Man, contracts out the first time. Looks like everyone has dialogue for Cicero, so I may indeed have to do that quest first.
Alright, so I have to pick that for that quest. Well, since I'm here, I might as well do this. Hold on, I'm gonna quick save before I try. us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! The Night Mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! Wait. She said to tell you, darkness rises when silence dies. She she said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back! She has chosen a listener! <laughs> she has chosen you! <laughs> All hail the listener! <laughs> Bye!
My Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you? Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now, to you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amand Motier in Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is, but Volenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. So I should go to Volenrude? I should talk to this man? Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you. But I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Well, Astrid seems a little power-hungry, but I can't get those side contracts from Nazir now. Wherever he is. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Astrid wanted me to see you about some more work? Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. All right, so tell me about Lurbuk. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. And now about Hearn? He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. You've got Alright, so I think I'll go for Lurbuk. He seems a little easier. Who is out by Morthal. My friend, best get to it. Yep. Right. Where do you want to go? Over to Morthal, another fifty gold. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, steady. What's the yarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Alright, well this seems like a fairly easy contract. 
I'm actually going to switch to my Tantos. And I don't want to forget the Shrouded Gloves. Those will really help. Oh, I was about to close the door, but these rooms don't have any. So I think that'll end this session off. In the next session, I'll kill Hearn and then do some of these Minor Thieves Guild jobs. And I'm not sure what main quest to do next, but see you all then.